January was the warmest temperature on record for the month of uh, January. Pretty, uh, pretty warm out there. You know, we're not going to get quite to that heading into next week. Uh, but it is going to be warming up into the uh, 80s, still near the uh, record uh, there, especially for Friday, about 82 degrees. The point is we got to warm up in the forecast, but first we have to get through the cold this coming weekend. So let's talk about that. Uh, right now we got our front pushing towards the south. Cool air is spilling in from the north. High pressure with that. So uh, overall calmer weather this coming weekend, but look at our wind chills currently in Atlanta. They're at the freezing point with the wind chill minus degrees from Topeka to St. Louis over towards Chicago as well. And I do expect our low for tomorrow morning to be into the lower 30s. So we're right around the freezing point, even in Jacksonville. And thus those freeze warnings are in place. Taking a look ahead through our Saturday, though, we're going to warm up to 48. Warm up is definitely a relative word. Uh, there will be loads of sunshine in the forecast here on our Saturday. So good news with that. But uh, overall, it is just a chilly day to be out and about as that cool air continues to settle in across our area. Look at these hard freeze warnings, freeze warnings. These are freeze watches for Sunday in the lighter blue. That means Sunday morning it's going to be a bit colder, and I do think those warnings are going to get dropped a little bit further towards the south. So keep an eye on that as we go ahead through our day here on Saturday. Always remember the difference between a freeze and a hard freeze. You're probably thinking well, they're both cold. That's true, but uh, freeze, you want to protect your plants, pets, people's hard freeze. And we're starting to talk about for those of you under a hard freeze warning uh, your pipes, you know, making sure they stay warm. You want to leave the water dripping overnight, things like that, because that's really could be causing some uh, problems there for you. All right, so Saturday morning here, let's look at our wind chill. Uh, into the lower 20s across some of our areas. Sunday morning could even be near the teens as well. So it is just two days consecutive, absolute frigid. You might be curious, by the way, what is wind chill? We don't get it too often here on the first coast. We talk about it. It's when you have, for example, temperature 25, even if you have a wind of 15 miles per hour, it could feel outside like 13 miles per hour. So just keep that in mind if you're out, especially in an exposed area uh, with a little vegetation. Maybe you got a good breeze coming on through. Hey, look at this. All right, so our cold air is going to give way. Warm air is going to build in from the south as we go ahead into next week. And as I mentioned earlier, we got a warm up in the forecast pushing up to the high 70s and eventually back into the 80s by mid to late week. So something to look forward to. All right, uh, I know it's cold out there this weekend. I'm not going to judge you, but if you want to go boating, we got Lauren here with your sandbar forecast. Hey, sandbar lovers, meteorologist Lauren Routenkranz here. Yes, we are looking at the coldest weekend so far this season, but I am still going to find you a little bit of time to get out on the waterways. It is going to be rough out there Saturday and Sunday. Choppy on Saturday, even more rough on Sunday. So Saturday is my pick day, but still three to five foot seas and those northwest breezes picking up to about 15 to 20 with some higher gusts, especially along the coast. We're going to have temperatures through the day in the 40s. It's going to be peaking or high temperature at about 50 degrees, so very cold, uh, lots of sunshine. Remember I said I would try to find you time if you're brave enough to get out there, but it is going to be rough. Low tide, Fort George at 11 a.m. Bayard Point, we flip that. High tide is right around 10:15 in the morning. Please stay safe out there. Run those motors.